Hello everyone. <coughs> Welcome to Cloud Institution. And uh, today we are going to see um, one of the very important concepts in AWS, which is transferring a domain, um, you know, so from GoDaddy to Route 53. Okay, so for example, if you bought any domain in GoDaddy, and if you wanted to host that, you know, that, that domain to be resolved from your Route 53, and this is the <coughs> this is the video for you. So basically, I have bought one of the domains from GoDaddy and I wanted to migrate uh, to route 53 you know that will be resolved that the dns will be resolved from the route 53 requests okay so let's get started with this one so first of all i wanted to go to my <coughs> godaddy account so this is my godaddy and here i bought one of the domains you know so that domain is called hiringjobs.in okay so this is the my domain so now I wanted to migrate. So whenever I'm accessing this domain, it will be pointing out to GoDaddy. Okay, but I wanted to migrate it to <coughs> to AWS. That so whenever somebody is accessing this URL, so that has to be serving the request from my Route 53 DNS, you uh, know, portal. So now, if you want to do that one, so what you have to do is that first of all you just copy this domain, and then go to your AWS. So just click on <coughs> hosted zones. What you have to do is that I wanted to create a I wanted to create a hosted zone with the same name. Okay. As soon as you click on hosted zones and create a new hosted zone. Okay. So click on create new hosted zone and you just copy the exact the same name what you have copied from there. Okay. So hiringjobs.in is what my domain. You know, so that has been copied. So now <coughs> the description is optional. So I don't want to give you any kind of description. Um, I'm just going to skip it. So now it's just going to tell me that you know so whether it's going to be a public hosted zone or private hosted zone. Okay, so public hosted zone will be available for for entire request from the you know so it will be accepting the request from the internet, but the private hosted zone is going to be you know so the will be internal to the AWS only. Okay, so within within Amazon VPC itself it's going to work. Okay, so today we are going to migrate it to the public hosted zone. Okay. So as simple as that, right? Now I've just given a domain name and then the given a public hosted zone. Okay, that is all I have to do from here. So now I've created a hosted zone. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we have the hosted zone is created. So now, as you can see, we have, you know, the, we have NS record. So NS record is something like you know name server record. Okay. So what happens is that that the AWS will be telling that you know, hey. If you wanted to migrate, so this, you know, so I mean, if you want to, if you, if you want this instance, to, I mean, this this website to be working from Route 53, so the original DNS has to be changed to this one. Okay, so let's go back to my GoDaddy portal, which is where here. Okay, so now I'm going to DNS. So here, as soon as I go here, you know, on my domain, I go to DNS. Okay, click on DNS, and then click on Name Service. Okay, so I'm on the name servers. So what you have to do now is that we need to change the name server now. Okay, so click on name, change name servers because the currently it has been pointing to GoDaddy name servers itself. You know, so which means that whenever somebody trying to access this, you know, website, the first request will come to the GoDaddy. You know, it it resolve from the from GoDaddy name servers and it's trying to you know trying to access any kind of website has been associated with this one, right? So now. We don't want that. We wanted to migrate it to AWS. So what we have to do is that we need to change the name server now. Click on change name servers. Okay, I'll use my own name server. <coughs> so they click on I use my own name servers. Okay, so now we have to give the name servers whatever has been copied from here. Okay, so now we have NS. This one copy this. Please remember that you know so please rem remember to delete this uh, dot at the end of the domain because it's going to cause errors okay now the second domain is going to be ns.uk and I'm giving this one and click on add name servers and the name the next name server is going to be ns.com okay done and the next one is going to be ns668 this one dot net okay 
okay so you can save this um you can save this right okay so i'm giving some kind of a you know, warning saying that you know by clicking continue your context to updating the name server from selecting domains okay changing name servers is risky and could be potentially lead to your website disappearing from the public view so what is telling is that when we are changing the name server to <clears throat> from godari to some other web some other domains right some other uh, hosted zones so in this case we are just migrating to route 23 so what what happens is that if you have hosted any kind of a website in uh, godaddy itself you know so that is going to be impacted for you so it's, it's going to give me a warning sign saying that you should not do this one but i wanted to migrate it to aws now okay so now click on continue okay success so as you can see you know it will take some time you know for this one to change this record okay so i'm just going to next tab and then i'm just coming back again to see whether my dns been changed or not okay my now my dns is being completely migrated so basically if you can come here you don't need to do anything over here you know so basically if somebody is accessing this website you know so uh, this website then it will be serving from the hosted zone from here okay so but <clears throat> it will take some time for you to completely migrate the dns switchovers okay so because it has to propagate you know all over the all over the names name servers um, in the world so it will take some time so almost it will take you know minimum 15 to 20 minutes of a time so until it's completely migrated you know if you want to check um your you know your name servers in the in the website you know so you can go to some of the you know the domain name server check websites you know you can just check whether which name server is going to be pointing to so in the next video i'm going to show you that you know how the this hiring jobs dot in it's going to be pointing to my um uh, year records for example if you are running any kind of instances okay you can just create a create a record okay so you can just give the hiring tech jobs itself and then you can just give the ip address of the machine for example 20 dot you know uh, 30 dot 40 dot 50 for example i'm just giving like this one so whenever you are creating a record okay so this, let's say for example this is the ip address of this is the ip address of your instances ec2 instances for example or you can also give your load balancer ip addresses right so now whenever you are giving this one so the hiring text jobs dot in website will be resolving the air record to this ip address okay that is how the migration should be done from godaddy to uh, route 23 hosted zones okay so I hope, I hope this will be really helpful for you you know so hope you understand the process how we are going to migrate it so in the next video what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create one ec2 instances um, i'm going to i'm going to deploy one web server and i'm going to point um, that web server from this hiring tech jobs um, portal and i'm going to see whether this particular website is working or not okay so see you again in the next video hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to this videos and subscribe to the channel so whatever the videos we are posting you will get the notification on this okay so thank you so much and um, see you um, in the next video